Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dexter trailer axle with electric brake and hub assembly. The kit's going to come with our Easy Loop axle as well as two electric brake assemblies. You're also going to have the seals, the inner and outer bearings, the castle nut, keeper, grease cap, and the cover on that cap as well. You're also going to have new lug nuts for your hub face. It's also going to come with a tube of marine grade grease. So we'll get our two electric brake assemblies. These are going to be 10 by 2 and a quarter inch assemblies. So that's going to be measuring from the outside of the brake pads to the other. That's the 10 inch by 2 and a quarter going the width. These are going to fit with the hubs that come in your kit and they're going to work with 13, 14, and 15 inch wheels. It does have the four studs on the back to get this mounted to your axle and it also comes with the hardware to mount that up. It's going to be a manual adjustment, which you can do down at the bottom there. Those are the two little holes where you can make that manual adjustment to your brake. And it also comes with those covers to put in place to keep anything from getting in there whenever it's all assembled. And one of the main benefits to having an electric brake and drum assembly is how easy it is to install, which we'll go ahead and show you now. Now our first step is going to be to remove the keeper and nut off of the axle as well as the washer. Our kit does come with a spare for both of those, but just need to pry that off with a flat bladed screwdriver. And then we can just unthread that nut and take the washer off. You'll notice that it has this flat side that'll line up with the flat side on our axle, as will that keeper. Now we can take our brake and mount that onto those four holes on our axle. On the back side, you'll just thread on those included nuts. And then we can place in our plugs at the bottom to close up that adjustment point. Our hub is gonna work really well with our brakes and our axle. This is designed to work with 10 inch brakes. So again, it's going to have that 10 inch diameter by two and a quarter inches deep. The weight capacity for this is going to be 1,750 pounds. So it'll work well with our 3,500 pound brakes and axle. The bolt pattern is going to be five on four and a half. And this is going to work with wheels that are 13, 14, or 15 inches. We'll have two races that are pre-installed on our hub. So this is going to be the smaller one that our small bearing is gonna fit into. It'll be the same for our larger bearing on the other side. Now would be the point where you'd want to pack your bearings full of grease. It does come with that tube of marine grease to help you get that done. For demonstration purposes, I'm not going to be packing these full of grease, but you just wanna make sure that you have grease going all through those rollers until it's coming out the top and the bottom and everything's completely lubricated. So this is the larger of our two bearings. It's going to just fit right into the race that's already installed in our hub. As you can see, it fits in really nicely there. And now we can grab our seal. You wanna make sure the beveled side of that is pointing down towards the hub and you want to make sure that it's nice and level and then you can tap that into place. Now you can of course use a handy block of wood to get that driven in there or you can use a bearing and seal driver which is what I'm going to actually be using. The trick with this is to make sure that your seal is level and that it goes in evenly all the way around. You just want to drive that down until the seal is flush with the opening on our hub. With the seal and larger bearing installed, we can put this in place on the axle. Now you'll also have your smaller bearing. Again, you want to make sure that you have that completely packed full of grease before you have it installed. And that'll just slide with the smaller end facing in. Next will be your washer and nut. Now you want to tighten that down and check the tightness on your hub and get that to where 
needs to be. And then you can replace the keeper on top. Now, once you have that process done on one side, you can repeat it on the other side. At the end of our spindle, you'll notice that's the grease cirque, which is where we get the Easy Lube name. So now would be the time to go ahead and use the grease that came with our kit to lube everything inside and make sure that it's ready for the road. On the back of our brakes, we'll have our green wires. This is for power and ground. So you wanna make sure that you connect those to your trailer's wiring. There's also a small keeper to make sure that our wires stay in place. So if you just flip that over, you can pop that into place there. The last step in our install will be to tap in the cap and you just need to tap that in all the way around, making sure that it fully seats into the hub and then you can place on the cover. Our axle is going to measure 95 inches and that's going from the outer most dimension from the hub face to hub face. Or if you wanna go from the axle spring seat to axle spring seat, that's going to be 80 inches. You'll notice that there's a slight bend to the axle, which is going to give us zero camber and provides even road to tread contact, which just basically means that our tires are gonna be tracking straight as we tow down the road. The underslung design means that we're going to attach our leaf springs underneath the axle, and that's gonna give us greater ground clearance as well. And that's gonna do it for our look at the Dexter trailer axle with electric brake and hub assembly.